everybody! In today's video I plan on turning these two second hand doll's house tables into one kitchen table for my Tudor doll's house. I bought both of these tables from the doll's house convention in York. They were a pound each and as you can see the bigger one is in a little bit of an unfortunate condition. It's missing three legs. But that's not going to be a problem because my intention is to use the smaller table as a base so that that will be my new legs. So I'm going to turn it upside down like this and I'm going to use the table top from the bigger table as the new table top for my kitchen table. Now the big table is obviously too big so I need to cut it about here and then I will discard the other bit but I might save it and use the legs to make a second table at some point. So, this little table here is quite varnishy, so it needs sanding down. Whilst this big table, I believe, was probably handmade, you can see the pencil lines on it, and also it's got mitered edges on the tabletop. So I first of all pulled off these remaining three legs, which I will save. I was surprised to find that this one was nailed on, the other ones weren't. And I do have a fourth leg as well that's also fallen off. I think there were two or maybe one missing when I first got the table. You can see that the others were glued on. I need to remove this little piece of dowel from the middle of the tabletop because that's making a ridge that's running all the way along. And I think what I'm going to do is probably cut in the centre of the table so that I'll be chopping the two ends off rather than just cutting one piece from the end of either side of the table. That doesn't quite make sense how I've described it, so I'll show you what I'm going to do. So this little table will become the base and legs. It works it like this, it's too small. It will flip upside down like this. And then the middle section of the larger table will be cut out and placed on the top like that so that it's the correct size for my Tudor kitchen. So I first of all cut the middle section out of this large table. I did it by first of all scoring down the lines. The pencil lines were already there in exactly the right places for me, which was very helpful. And then I just used a saw to get through the remainder of this wood until it looked like this. As you can see, whilst I was sawing, this little plank fell off, which was quite fortuitous because I already had a gap due to removing the piece of dowel. So I've just decided that I'm probably going to glue this panel back in, but I'm going to leave a little gap at either side of it. I quite like the idea that this table will be quite rough. It's not the expensive dining room table that's gone into the banqueting hall. It's my kitchen table where the people working in the kitchen would work. So it won't be a grand table. So I stuck this panel back down but I just shifted it over a little bit so there was a little gap at either side of it rather than a really defined gap right in the centre of the table where the dowel was. I laid my worktop on the upturned little table just to see how it looked and now I need to create some ends for the table because I'd chopped them off previously. So I'm just going to use two lollipop sticks and cut them just like I did when I made my wooden flooring. So I'm using this tool here to cut off the ends and just to thin out the plank of wood a little bit. multi-purpose glue to stick on one of these little lollipop pieces at each end of the table just to give it that finishing edge.
I tried to use some sandpaper to sand this varnish off the little table. However, it was stuck on really strongly and I wasn't able to really make much of a difference with the sandpaper. So I decided to take it outside and I used my sanding pads on my Dremel to take this varnish layer off. I also used this opportunity to make some of the edges look a little rougher and as if they had been cut out of a solid piece of wood so I took some of the right angles away and just made it look a little bit older and more rustic. managed to get all of the varnish off the little table so in the little creases on the inside of it where the legs are meeting the base I couldn't get my sanding pads in at that tight angle so if you can see here so for that reason I then tried again to use some sandpaper sanding by hand but it wasn't making any difference so I then decided to try a nail file because it could get in at a tighter angle but again it made no difference. So I made a decision to use some of my raw umber acrylic paint and paint it on thickly over these varnished areas so that it wasn't so obvious that these areas had been left and then I made a wash to go over the rest of the furniture. was still quite thick I did mean to dilute it a little bit more um, but this was maybe a good thing because it meant that it wasn't so noticeable where I'd painted on the thick acrylic paint over the varnished areas. I made a decision not to fill in the gaps at either side of this plank that fell off because I wanted to leave it with a bit of an imperfection because I didn't want this table to be looking as perfect and grand as the banqueting table in the banqueting hall. Once it was all dry I gave it a really good sand down again to add a bit of ageing and just to take away that kind of solid painted finish and I was happy with this outcome. I think it was starting to look more like the table that I'd imagined. my multi-purpose glue to glue the new legs onto the new tabletop and then I left them to dry. I am aware that it's getting a little bit dark now, well very dark, and the footage isn't looking so great. So what I'm going to do is leave this to dry overnight and in the morning I will film it in its finished state and show you what it looks like in the doll's house kitchen. So it is the next morning now and this is what the table looks like in situ with the lights on. I'm pretty happy with that. Um, I do have the options of having it over this way a little bit or in the centre or maybe kind of a third of the way across the room. Let me know what you think. I think about there maybe. It's a shame that it's blocking the ovens but obviously I need a little table. So I'm going to plan on putting food on this table as if it's been prepped and I'm going to have maybe some little baskets of fruits and vegetables underneath the table as well. So please do let me know what you think. I hope you like it. If you've enjoyed the video and you're not subscribed yet, please remember to hit subscribe and thank you for watching.